This is the ultimate battle of the evil zombies. We have three churches all spawning infinite zombies. Let's see how far they can make it through this epic castle with Bob the God at the end. Guys, this is gonna be a good one. And here we go. Join the project by subscribing to the channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications so you'll never miss another video. Hey guys, this is Poratic Jasonfy and welcome back to Ancient Warfare 3. Now guys, a long time ago, the three churches lived together in harmony. The red one, the blue one and the zombie one. But now they have turned evil and they are going to attack the main castle. So today we are going to see if they can break through all of the different stages on this mighty battleground. Now two churches are still rebuilding their broken down bridges but one of them has been completed and they have put a unit spawner inside of the church. What's gonna come out of it? That is what we are going to see and is it going to be enough? to reach all the way to the end of the main castle. And here they come right now. Guys, if you are excited for these awesome battles, be sure to leave a like on the video right here, right now. And after you guys have left a little like on the video, look at this. We've got all Japanese guys with Bicentos, Katanas, even the Lord of Samurai has joined the party. Oh, they got some blowpipes too. They're gonna fire darts. Oh, that's gonna be great. Now let's see if they can get through the first wave, which is very old guys, okay? We got some dudes with bone armor. We got some slingshot guys. Look at that. Pew, pew. And they fire little rocks. <laughs> but they have a lot of range, though. Look at that. Oh, but here we have a ladder guy. What is a ladder guy doing here? Oh, but he took a rock to the face. Oh, no, guys. Do you think that these guys, the first wave of the Red Army can reach all the way to the end post a comment right now okay say either team red or whoa no actually don't say wow okay well you could do that but say team red or team blue now let's see if these guys can oh they spawn another lord of uh, i was gonna say lord of zombies no oh maybe later on maybe later on in this video because we're gonna place down some crazy units so we're gonna light up this whole battlefield but I was gonna say Lord of Samurai. <gasps> and they are really breaking down my castle here. Not a good thing. Now I have to say, I am really impressed by these slingshot guys. They are so much more powerful than I expected. I mean, it's literally just a little stick with some spring in it. And then like, like they fire a little stone. And the Lord of Samurai is apparently very upset that this castle exists. So instead of chasing the guys... He's gonna poke the walls. Yeah, I mean, he's gotta do what he's gotta do, you know? Oh, they are marching forward, though. Oh, did you guys see that spear thrower throw? Oh, yeah, the spear thrower threw a spear at the uh, slingshot guy. And it was beautiful. Here, we have another spear thrower. Oh, oh, no, wait, we got another one, right? Wait, that's a blowpipe guy. Wait, where are these guys going? You're going the wrong way. I've never seen any army so lost in this battle. Like, all of these guys are standing around like, James... What do we do? Why do we go? I got a ladder. Do I hit a guy with a ladder? Do I, do I poke a guy with a flag? I mean, there's a spear on top of it. Surely you can poke someone with it, right? You know what? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna become this guy. Come here. Oh, wh why are my arms like this? Help! Help! Somebody help me! Okay, can I poke a guy with the flag? I don't think I can do that. No, I cannot. Wait, can I just climb up this ladder? Is that possible? No, why? Are you serious? How is that possible? Oh, wait. I can just... Pick up a katana. Oh, and now the flag is stuck in my legs. Oh, I can like Beyblade spin these guys like this. Oh, that's perfect. All right, we're gonna march forward. Oh, hey, they broke down a lot of the walls. Oh, but now they got crossbow, guys. Well, I got a slingshot. Pew. And oh, I got a dodge arrows here. Oh, this is really, really, really not easy. Back to the katana. Back to the mission. Back. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, my armor blocked it. It's okay. Wop out. Get this guy. Oh, I gotta watch out here. Oh, they got some big long swords, that's for sure. But I got the katana, okay? It's the most epic war of history. Oh, I've always wondered, which is better? The sophisticated katana or the just raw firepower long sword? 
I've always been on Team Katana, but apparently Longsword is quite a bit more powerful. Oh, we got a guy all the way at the second wall. So the first wall has been broken down completely, by the way. The second wall, which has these crossbow guys, is under attack. Look at that. And the third wall, which is a futuristic one, is actually firing already. I can imagine that this is going to be the most difficult obstacle to get through. But... That's not even the end, because over here, this mech guy, oh, he is gonna peel away like a boss. But I have ordered these units to hold their fire for as long as possible so that we really have to go through each stage. But it doesn't look like these guys gonna do it. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey I've hey, got hey, a ladder. I know where to go. Oh, I have got hey, a ladder. Go? Yes, I where have go? got a ladder. Yes, I am stuck. Yes, there we go. I'm I stuck. Ladder. 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 Help me, I'm Point, stuck. Pointing it up oh. in the sky. The main castle has been rebuilt. And guess what? This second bridge has also been built. But really bad news, guys. The blue church has been taken over by an army of skeletons. And guess who is leading this evil army? It is none other then the Lord of Fire, he has turned the entire world into just a globe of ash and lava. And it is only gonna be good for the red team, not for the blue team. So this time, the red team is literally bringing more firepower. Let's see if this time we can withstand this mighty attack, okay? Now I have a really bad feeling about the battle that's coming up, okay? I think... Once that third bridge is constructed and the zombie church comes alive from the undead. Oh boy, things are gonna go really bad for our team. We might even have to call in some godly powers. But for now, we should be good to defend it, okay? The Lord of Fire is immediately going to town on the floor? Wait, that, that was... That was unexpected, that's for sure. Well, maybe we have this secret sauce, okay? Maybe blue is truly better, okay? It's like holy versus evil. And this time, we can really defend it. Hey, guys, can you maybe, like, I don't know, uh, stop destroying my castle? Hello? Now, it is a little bit weird that they don't come quite as far as the last army, but... You know what happens to the Lord of Fire when he gets defeated? He becomes even more powerful. Oh no, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The third bridge has been constructed. And this time there is an actual zombie spawner inside. You can tell by this poor guy over here. Ah, oh, you poor fella. Now, this should technically be enough to take down the castle. But is it really enough? You and I, we are gonna find out together. And I can already imagine it's gonna be beautiful. So let's quickly click the play button. That's right, quickly click the play button. Quickly click the quick play, quick but button. What? Anyway, now that I've had a little bit of a brain fart, let's see if these armies can storm the castle. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Now the great thing about this spawner is guys, whoa, hold on. We can actually set it to infinite units. And that is gonna require some serious divine powers to withstand. Now, I've put a little bit of a, like a barrier thingy here. Because, uh, you know, we, we gotta keep them a little bit separate from the zombies, I think. And it's working. It's working a lot. Oh my goodness. Wait, where are they going? Wait, are they gonna battle each other now? Hold the phone. Go that way. <gasps> Whoa, it's totally working. Wait, why are they so much powerful? What is happening, guys? Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, wait, I see what's happening. They can't break down the castle anymore. <laughs> Whoops. If nothing goes wrong when you play Ancient Warfare 3, did you really play Ancient Warfare 3? I don't think so, okay? Something has to go wrong, and that is part of the fun, okay? Now, let's fast forward a little bit. We are back in the battle this time. Nothing of this castle can get destroyed. There are no distractions except for the towers where the units are on. Those can and I guarantee you most certainly will be destroyed by all of these ferocious guys. Now, keep your eyes on the target. Straight ahead. It's working. It's working. All right, let's see if they can break down these towers, okay? This is the moment of truth. Did your buddy James do a good job? The answer is a very disappointing, but unfortunately expected, and no. 
But it's okay. Because they are moving forward. And oh, they're actually battling the longsword guys. Right, if they can defeat these dudes, they will have come further than ever before. But over here, we've got one of an imitation Freddy. I think it's a friend of Freddy, okay? Not, not the actual Freddy, okay? Because I know that Freddy. He would slap all of these skeleton guys right in the face. Hey! It worked! I did something right! That, 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 is, that is world news, right? Now, where's my zombies at? Because I don't see any zombies. Hey, what? He Hello? Mr. Skeleton! On which team are you? What are you doing? Oh, oh, this is, this is going very wrong once again. Oh, boy. You know what? I got these big, fat zombies. They're too slow. They, they just, they just waste them down. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Did I see something explode over here? <gasps> what is happening here, though? We got the dream team. The final guys. Oh, this is great. Well, actually, it's not that much of a dream team. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are they using the castle parts as protection? That was pretty smart until it didn't work. You see, guys, what we need is faster zombies. Zombies that are in shape. Not some zombies that get beaten up by one skeleton. Who is this guy? Who is this skeleton? Does this skeleton belong to Usain Bolt or something? This guy's so fast. All right, you know what? Let's, let's just... Let's just get some feral zombies in here, okay? This is the ultimate battle of the evil zombies. We have three churches all spawning infinite zombies. Let's see how far they can make it through this epic castle with Bob the God at the end. Guys, this is gonna be a good one. And here we go. Let's see if the feral zombies are any better, okay? Now, every five seconds... Those spawners are gonna summon a feral zombie. But since we have three churches, each with their own zombie spawner, I was gonna say unit spawner, it's a zombie spawner, of course, we get a ton of these dudes flooding into the castle, and that will start stacking up, okay? But I am curious to see if they can break down these things. Because it does look like they are having a little bit of trouble breaking down the towers. Which means that the units can't fall down. Let's see if any of these zombies are smart enough to... Ah, yes! Break down the castle and also move forward and storm to that final gate over there. They have to take down the future gate and get to Bob. Man, this is an all-out battle here. I love it! Now, these towers should fall a lot faster since uh, these guys are a little bit stupid, though. And as you can see, they fire right into these things. And the zombies are still flooding and hot, baby. 24-7, 365, zombies everywhere. Yeah! I'm not sure if you guys could tell already, but I really like the feral zombies, okay? They have the most damage, the most movement speed, maybe not the most HP... Like, they can't survive for very long, but that's totally fine because this guy, as you can see, is punching them in the face. Oh, there's Bob! Oh, he came out of his shelter over there. That's not exactly what I had in mind for Bob, but then again, he's a god and he can do whatever he wants. So, for those who don't know Bob yet, he has maximum damage, maximum health, maximum armorness. And he is gonna just absolutely destroy these zombies, okay? Not a lot of things in this game can defeat Bob. And I don't think a zombie, not even an infinite amount of them, is gonna be enough either, okay? I like how Bob brings a green lightsaber. That's like, that's so rude, you know. Complete disrespect to the green zombie army. These future shotguns aren't doing too bad either, actually. Well, they are firing into a wall, but... I mean, what's better than a future shotgun to blast down a few zombies, right? Wait, is Bob the God actually moving forward right now? I sent him to guard mode because there's actually a new zombie every time he walks forward a little bit every time. And there you have it, guys. Bob the God will forever keep slapping away at the zombies. He will never go down after all. He is Bob the God. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please do a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next Project 5 video.